Hi, it's the Urban Astronomer here. Pretty nice setup, right? But do you just like me get tired of all of those cables getting in the way? Then keep watching because I'm going to show you how you can turn this into this. First of all, you want to define all of the equipment you are going to be using. In this instance, I will be using the following equipment. A Goobay 4-port USB 3.0 hub. I chose this hub specifically because it has this. It allows charging up to 5000 milliamps. I was using this USB 2.0 hub at first, but I heard it can surge power into your computer and damage it. A Canon 450D EOS with Bada MPCC Mark II Coma Corrector. To power this, I use a direct current coupler which acts as a battery. I advise every astrophotographer who uses a DSLR to get one of these. A USB 3.0 cable. This one specifically is 3 meters long. A high-tech Astro USB Direct Interface which allows computer control of the telescope. A USB 2.0 cable for the actual image data coming from the DSLR. Some cable ties. Some Velcro or other removable cable binding straps. And finally, this little gemstone. A ZWO ASE290 monochrome planetary camera. Let's get into the actual business. So the first thing to do is to fix the USB hub to the underside of the dovetail. And secondly, install all of your devices on the optical tube assembly. So now I'm going to insert the camera into the telescope. I'm using the standard Skywatch finder scope as guide scope, so I had this adapter made. What a gemstone. So now I'm going to insert the guide cam into my finder scope, which isn't always the easiest thing to do. I want to make sure that the USB 3.0 output is on this side so the cable feeds more easily to the USB hub. Thirdly, insert all of the cables coming from your devices. Sadly, my little USB port protector cap broke. And this is one of the reasons I got a USB 3 guide cam and hub, because the bus speed is much faster. It's in all the way right now. And finally, the USB direct interface. It goes right into the hand control bit, and then feeds directly into the USB hub. When all the cables are in place, start binding them together using the cable ties. So here you have a better picture of what's going on here. I'm going to be tying these together using the cable ties. So what I did right now is tie all the cables coming from the cameras together, making them join up perfectly down here. I'm going to be putting most of the cables in this space between the dovetail and the scope. So I managed to squish everything under there. And now it looks like this. Put everything nicely together. And yeah, cable management is all right now. So the whole purpose of doing this is so that you only have one data cable coming directly from your mount. In my case, since I use USB 3, I'm going to have more frames per second, so that means less time to download the images to my laptop. Thank you for watching and good luck imaging.